Welcome to Bucharest, the capital of Romania. to check in. Our apartment is right next to the fountains and the parliament of Bucharest, which you saw behind me. We're going to go and drop off our bags first. Here's an apartment tour. Going into the kitchen where the balcony is because we are standing here right in front of the parliament. Okay. Bath room situation and bedroom let's go in it look at the view we found our spot lunch was successful it's time to head out and explore the most important thing in Bucharest maybe for every tourist is to see the parliament building which is this building right behind me. So this building is the second largest administrative building in the world after the Pentagon. This was built by Ceausescu. Fun fact, 70% of it is actually empty. So just behind the parliament, we have the cathedral here in Bucharest, which is supposed to be the highest Orthodox cathedral. We're going to go and check that out as well and then we're going to go into the old city If you have watched my previous vlogs, you already know that I'm very much into intensive touristic programs But this time I promised Marina and Christina that I'm gonna be Hopefully. easy on them, so yeah <laughs> state of the church and we just saw this sign here does this look familiar to anyone this just looks like the Vatican like St. Peter's Square in the Vatican I guess they're gonna be recreating the Orthodox version of it everywhere we go something is under renovation and we are never able to either enter it or even get close to it next time Another reason to come back. What I wanted to say before uh, that rude interruption with Romanian Manele was that this is like a famous um, covered street which is full of cafes it's famous for its architecture but what was funny is that the moment we got in we were greeted by a Maybe very... A mouse. But it was not really a mouse, it was a rat you know Tommy and Jerry? Jerry was there Jerry was there We have a rat yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't capture it because it went by very fast, but it was very funny and yeah And we've made it to the bookstore This is the famous Instagram of a bookstore of Bucharest
going to be our dinner spot. We made reservations. This is one of the most famous traditional restaurants here in Bucharest in the old town. Karuku Bere, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. <laughs> So I'm gonna have Michi, which is something very typical for the Balkans, but this is Romanian style. Bean soup with pork, homemade bread, we have some kind of dip, bean dip, and we're expecting more food. We have wine. Cheers! Appetizers here, and this is Christina Shrizil, which is as big as her. As big as my head. <laughs> Definitely very fun. This restaurant was amazing, food was good, the entertainment was great. We sang, we danced, mm. <laughs> <laughs> we drank as you can see. <laughs> and it was fun, so I'd recommend to come to Karuku Bere. <laughs> yes, let's go home. Good morning from Bucharest. We are going to grab a taxi and we're going to head to one of the most famous attractions here in Bucharest, which is actually a little bit outside of Bucharest. After the experience of the lovely Romanian traffic, we finally made it to Terme. the best decision ever. If you decide to come to Romania, to Bucharest, this is your top one priority, to come to Terme, full day. I wish we could stay longer, but we can because we have a very important reservation for tonight. So let's go and making our way to our dinner reservation tonight. We made reservations at the Amethyst Sky Bar, which 
as far as I read, is like the most popular sky bar with a view over all of this <laughs> and the parliament. So we're heading there right now. Super excited about it. Okay, so we just had dinner. It was amazing. The food, the everything view. that we ordered was, was phenomenal. from Bucharest. We are heading to breakfast. We had a very interesting night last night. <laughs> a few minutes before we came to the apartment, I got a call from a Romanian number and I was thinking, what the hell? Like, who asked my number from Romania? It was the guys from the restaurant. As it seems, the card got declined when we paid and then we had to revolute them the money. We paid. It's all paid for. with breakfast and coffee at the Van Gogh cafe. We just got it now, why it was so chaotic inside because there was people, uh, the staff were like going everywhere, they were writing everything on like the sticky notes. They had like some problem with the, uh, with the system, I guess today, so it was kind of crazy, but the food was nice, coffee was good. Actually, the building that the cafe is in is a former uh, Romanian Swiss bank. So it's kind of like a historical monument. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Bucharest is the little Paris. There's a reason for it. Everything in the center, the architecture is very inspired by Paris. But there's one more similarity. Is this. This is Romania's Arc de Triomphe. It commemorates Romania's victory in the First World War and also the coronation of King Ferdinand. some souvenirs back the Romanian national liquor spirit Palinka okay we had a nice walk here now we are heading to lunch again in the, in the old town city. this time we're gonna use the metro to get to the old town so first time using the Bucureshti metro let's see Where are we now? We don't, we don't know. know. <laughs> we missed the stop again. Who was the navigator? Who was the navigator? <laughs> Every time that us three go on a trip, each of us has a specific mission. I am the one who does the schedule. That's my job. Marina, she looks out for the schedule and says what's coming up next, where we should go. And Christina is the one who is responsible for navigating us with the GPS. So this is Aubergine restaurant. It's a 
Mediterranean Lebanese cuisine, vegan friendly. We have lentil salad, we have some spreads, they're waiting for their salads as well. And the whole interior is very, very interesting. And always we have space for dessert because dessert doesn't go in the stomach, it goes in the heart. <laughs> establishment from the 1800s, I think. Yes, we're having traditional Romanian dishes, there is a program inside running. The dancers from the first night actually are here. We're drinking Romanian wine and life is good. Cheers, Cheers. to the last night in the <laughs> Good morning, last morning in Bucharest. The other top soccer, right? Today it's been a very tough morning. None of us is uh, really awake, but yeah. <laughs> It's time to go back home. I didn't expect this city to amaze me this much and to charm me, but it did. It's very pretty, it's very nice, people are nice, atmosphere is good. If you want to follow me as I go on my travels, you can follow me on my Instagram because I always post there very regularly all of my trips. And then don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, on the travel list. Next stop, Poland. <laughs>